I'm Phil Cleary with another edition of Footy Flashbacks as we celebrate 150 years of Australian football. And what better place to go than the Adelaide Oval, the venue for interstate matches before Football Park was built. It's 1964 and the locals are at home to their enemies from the West, South Australia versus Western Australia. Unfortunately, Neil Curley didn't play in this game. Would you believe it? A broken finger ruled him out. Bob Shearman led the side and in the forward pocket was lanky ruckman David Cantilla, who was later named in the Indigenous Team of the Century. Cantilla came from the Tiwi Islands, the same islands that produced such champions as Dean and Morris Rioli and the great Michael Long. The most well-known of the WA boys was John McIntosh, later a star with St Kilda, Mal Atwell at full back, giant ruckman Brian Foley and of course Hayden Bunton Jr who by 1964 had led Swan Districts to three consecutive premierships. Umpire Brophy from Victoria to bounce the ball for the opening of the match. Up go Foley and Wedding and Foley gets the knockout. It comes out to uh, McIntosh on the uh, far wing and here's a pick up by uh, Turnbull but kicks into the man down towards the South Australian half forward line and uh, very quickly picked up by Potter, shoots into the goal and it's a goal to South Australia and the opening goal of the match. Western Australia have the opportunity right down from Bunton to Foley and Foley's taken the mark on a very acute angle and he's taking it from a very very awkward angle here's the shot for goal and it's a beauty a good goal to Western Australia and the score now South Australia two goals Western Australia one and the bounce of the ball ten minutes into the second term and the Western Australia it looks like going forward again and there's a pick up there by um, Western Australia by Mycock right down to the full forward area. Evans just fails to hold it. Cassidy trying to get a kick in. Soffit off the ground and Schmidt clears away for South Australia. But uh, once again Western Australia in Mycock trying to pick the ball up. Socket away from him. Here is a pick up by uh, South Australia by Hannaford. And now it's down to the centre of the ground with uh, Nesbitt coming in. Short passes to Bunton. Western Australia going right down to the goal mouth with a kick. Right down to the full forward here and there's a mark to Foley in front of Shearman and Foley has a chance to put Western Australia's eighth goal on the board. Wonderful shooting by Western Australia. Seven goals won from eight shots and here's the shot by Foley. Just short of the goal mouth and uh, there they're battling away. Evans just fails to hold it and it's Richens who brings it away for South Australia but it's out of bounds on the half forward line. 20 minutes into the uh, second quarter, South Australia trailing at the moment uh, by uh, five points, have the ball down in the full forward area, here's Rice racing in towards goal and shoots it in and there's the goal and it puts South Australia one point in front. And here's South Australia coming in and the pass by Hicks finds Kingston only 35 yards out from goal. The half-time siren due to go any moment. Kingston lining it up. Scores at the moment. Western Australia 8-5 leading by a point with Kingston to take the shot. And there it is through the middle. And uh, 14 minutes into the third term and Western Australia once again bring the ball down. But they're stopped by Richens at centre half back driven down to Halbert and Halbert is going to mark it. Halbert has marked the ball at centre half forward. Halbert has already kicked two goals in this term after being moved for centre. He's trying for Kingston. Uh, Kingston is out in front of Atwell, but he's heavily tackled. The ball is still in play. In comes Wedding to handball it across to Hicks. Hicks takes a shot into goal, and we're waiting on the result. It's hit the post. It's hit the post, and the score now. South Australia 13-7 to Western Australia 9-5. And almost three quarter time with Western Australia forcing the ball right in front of their goal, but Schmidt is going to clear away and it's going to be marked by Potter. Western Australia in the last last five minutes have come back with the three quick goals to make four goals for the quarter, but they're still trailing some four goals with three quarter time coming up. Down on centre wing position and a disputed mark here with umpire Brophy coming in uh, to take a bounce of the ball at centre wing. 
The bounce of the ball with the Hannaford gaining possession. Out tries to find Cantilla. Socket off the ground uh, by Cassily. And uh, here is um, Slater trying to come through. But it's Richens from the back pocket for South Australia who plays down to the half forward line. Halbert is out in front of his immediate opponent. A handball across. And Mycock clears it back towards the centre of the ground. And there goes the siren for three quarter time. Here is the bounce of the ball for the final quarter with South Australia leading 27 points. Foley and Wedding go for the knock. It comes down Foley getting it across and uh, to McIntosh and it's marked by Mills on the Western Australian half forward left position. Western Australia came back strongly towards the end of the third quarter. They played right down to the goal mouth. Evans and Hammonds vie for it. And in comes the mummy. But he's tackled. It's very close to the boundary line. But it's cleared away uh, by Richens for South Australia. Out to the boundary where Chadwick and Barbary go for it. Uh, Barbary flick passes across trying to find Richens. He's tackled by Lawrence and it goes out of bounds. And with two or three minutes to go, it's Foley and Wedding going for the bounce of the ball. And here it comes out uh, towards Rogers. Rogers has tackled, gets rid of the ball. With the day, the new man on for South Australia, getting it down uh, towards the half forward line. And here goes Halbert and Nesbitt for the ball. In comes Kingston. The ball is still in play, and Kingston uh, to the full forward area with Cantilla in front of Atwell. Out in front is Hicks now with he flick pass it across, but Western Australia look like clearing, and Maynard a hand pass, which Rogers gathers in. Another hand pass on uh, with um, Lucev, the new man on the ground, and uh, now it's down on the scrimmage on the half-forward right position, and umpire Brophy is coming in to take a bounce of the ball. Cannot be long to go in this match. Western Australia started off this quarter brilliantly, but South Australia were able to regain poise. Now there is the kick uh, down towards the centre of the ground where Foley and Wedding go for it. In comes um, uh, Winnan, and Winnan sends Western Australia going forward right down to their full forward area. And Bunton uh, gets rid of the ball as uh, Schmidt is tackled. And uh, now Cassily soccers it off the ground. And it comes out now into the vacant spaces where Kyle picks up uh, for South Australia. But a mark is taken by Foley. And Foley goes for a hand pass. It's flipped further away to Winnan. And now Western Australia right out in their full forward pocket position. Hook it in towards the goal line. And uh, from the full back position, Hammond is coming out. And uh, now the ball is down in the scrimmage, right down in the full forward area for Western Australia. A long hand pass out, and uh, South Australia are able to clear it out towards the half-back line. And uh, coming through now for, there goes the siren for the end of the game. With South Australia winning by 13 points, the scoreboard being South Australia 18-11 uh, to Western Australia, 16 goals 10. A 13-point victory to South Australia. Hey, nothing like a home ground advantage to lift the spirits. In fact, when it came to SAVWA clashes, home ground advantage was a critical factor back then. Prior to this match, you have to go back to 1938 for the last time WA had a win at the Adelaide Oval. I'm Phil Cleary. See you next time for more football from the grand old days.